Hey there, guys. Hey, I've been getting a lot of questions and comments about getting leakage around the water pump. The water pump and the water distribution manifold meet up. Seems to be a very common problem when people uh, go to replace their water pumps or just have a leak there in general. This snout will start to pit, get rough, and this one was in pretty good shape. But you'll get where this part here looks like that or worse. It was very deep pitting. Some guys will use two O-rings instead of one, but it's a difficult size to source. Some guys will goop it all up with silicone, real heavy, which is not really my style of doing things. What I did on R64, was took and uh, degreased the part, chemically cleaned the rust off of it. You can see where this has been sitting in the in the uh, de-rusting agent, how clean this is. Got the rust out, hit it with a wire wheel, hit it with brake cleaner, get, get it nice and clean, then went around and worked uh, some uh, epoxy into it. And this is the type of epoxy they advertise it has, has metal or steel in it and really work that down into the pores of the metal. And now I'm gonna take some emery cloth here and I folded it over, it fits right on there nice. What we wanna do is we wanna remove the bulk of the excess epoxy. So don't, when you're putting it on there, you're just trying to fill the divots, fill the low spots. You don't need to put a whole lot on. And so we wanna take and sand off just the excess epoxy and not reduce the diameter at all. You want to see mostly just shining, just metal that's beginning to shine with, with the epo epoxy left in the low spots. You will have to remove this part from the car to do this. And so I showed in a previous video how to make gaskets so you can make yourself a couple of new gaskets for there. This little trick worked fine on our 64. Had a lot of corrosion on the cooling system. In fact, we can look back in that video and see where we had the holes in the timing cover from cavitation. I think that car was run with uh, just straight water for a long time. show you this section here I got this polished up real nice you can see how the epoxy kind of just fills in a groove that's probably where the o-ring was sitting originally so if you go around polish it up real nice like that where you just leave the epoxy in the low spots and when you put this together put a little bit of silicone I'm not much of a fan of silicone but put a little bit of a silicone on here and Stick the O-ring on and some on the outside of the O-ring and that should seal it up good for you. So there you go. Hope that helps you guys that are having the problem with the water manifold leak.